Uh, thank you so much for joining us, Sanjeev. There's been a bit of technological problem getting uh, our 3G up there. Uh, Sanjeev, you know, I really want to pick your brains on, uh, first of all, on Jubilant Food Works. Uh, what is your view? Uh, CEO resigns and the stock goes down 8% immediately. How important was Ajay call and will it rebound in case they announce someone that the markets like? Well, Onin, firstly, uh, you know, if you recall, uh, it's almost been a year and I've been telling you that the Dunkin' Donuts outlets has been a total disaster. Mm. Given the competition which has come in the face of Wendy's and others, you know, I did a lot of uh, foo -foo, uh, uh, a survey of this and I still think that there is a lot of pain uh, in the stock. The stock trades at almost 50, 50 plus times uh, forward earning. And yes, now Mr. coming to Mr. Ajay Call, I think he was the brand behind initiating the prominence which Domino's actually got and the speed with which it took off. So I give a lot of credit to him being the brand manager. Uh, however, uh, this could be a short term, uh, uh, you know, negative because the stock is already corrected. But, but you know, at a time when the Nifty is uh, close to all time highs, you don't want to buy stocks which are making 52 week lows. So it will take some time before the dynamics changes on the, you know, on the volume front or on the mar um, uh, pressure on the margin. And why would you want to be at a stock which is trading at such high valuation? So I still think this is an FI owned stock and the, the departure of Mr. Ajay Call will send uh, the wrong signals for the time for the short in the short term. So for us, it's an avoid in the short term. We think there will be value, but at a better price. But you think that uh, it's essentially institutions selling right now? Uh, it, it, yes, it, this is a very heavily owned uh, institutional stock. You know, it's been a darling of a stock. If you recall from 2010, this stock was listed at 195 and it went all the way close to 2000. Mm -hmm. uh, now, Domino's as a chain, the, the group did well. But I think when they diversified, the Dunkin' Donuts has been a disaster and that is what is eating into earnings. Uh, plus, there is more competition on the footfalls on the pizza also. Yes, in the short term, it would be a negative and I think there are some institutions which are over-owned and I think there will be deleveraging going on on any rise in this stock. All right, uh, Sanjeev, your calls. Let's start with your favorite, NBCC. Uh, today, there's a news that has come in that they will kind of manage and oversee all the disposal sale of the land of sick PSUs. Uh, what does that add to NBCC? Well, you've seen the numbers, you know, for, uh, their, their earnings has been pleasantly surprising on the upside and as yet the execution of the large uh, Sarojini Nagar complex is not just not, is not, you know, in place. I think the next three years on in, this is the best visibility and a visible stock which you have on encashment in tier one, tier two, tier three, for government of India on their construction side. On, on that, the added fillet would be that the sick PSU is getting out of divestment of land ownership. NBCC will be the arranger, the coordinator, it will get a certain fees. You know, it makes something in the margin of 8 to 10 percent. And that should be it. But it tells you that the strength in the order inflow and the visibility for the next three years makes the stock, even which trades at say 40 times, very, very reasonable going into the next one year or two years. We think this stock is in for a re-rating. Uh, we have a year-end target of 325. And if you have a two-year vision, then you are doubling your money from here. All right. You also have Phoenix Lamps. Now, obviously, this is partly a play on uh, the auto sector growth. It is one of the big suppliers of uh, lamps to auto sector. But if I look at its uh, on growth trajectory, as has been estimated, its uh, CHR growth is about 14, 15 percent, and it's currently trading at about 15 times FY18 earnings. So, uh, is that value enough for you, considering you actually believe that the markets are going to correct? Well, actually, I start, uh, first put out a buy at 107 on your channel on in, on the back that this is now being merged with uh, Suprajit Engineering. And Suprajit itself has been my big favorite and it's been an outperformer. I am recommending this on the back that 5 is to 4 is going to be the merger ratio. So if you have a 3 to 4 month uh, waiting period, then this will become Suprajit in the next 4 months. And the stock is at a 15% discount. The fair value should be close to 190. So I think at 160, it's a scream. 
uh, on the back that 65% of its halonics market is also export oriented and it will give a very good vertical to the uh, existing play which Suprajit has on the OEM side on the uh, cable side. So it's a it's a it's a no brainer for this stock. You know, it should be a 20% upside by the end of the year, definitely. All right. You also have Cosmo Films. Now we did speak to the management, and it's a very impressive, impressing, uh, impressive management, and they have. Uh, uh, I think a complete control over the laminates market and also enter, entering other spaces. But in terms of uh, its earnings, uh, does it look a little expensive? Well, it trades at what's just about seven, eight, seven and a half, eight times uh, uh, forward earning. I don't see it being expensive. On the other hand, Essentially, uh, almost on a, this would commodity. be the best ploy on the GST implementation as packaging would be the star industry. Oh. We've already seen Uflex, which has a less market share than it hit new highs and trading at about 12 times. So I think the catch up is re uh, relatively easier in Cosmofilm. Plus, I think uh, from our interactions with the management, they see no uh, stoppage in a growth which can be in double digits for the next two years. Also on the back that their US business is doing exceedingly well. So, you know, give some of parts with an export orient, uh, orient and a content. I think uh, in the packaging industry, this is a standout performer. 450 for us by the end of the year or maybe by March 2017 is definitely on the cards. And how are you arriving at that 450? Uh Valuation, Sanjeev? So, if you give it a multiple of 10 times, it should be close to 420. And we are saying that the earnings is going to catch up in double digits. So, on they did a profit of close to 100 crores in the last year. We are looking at a profit figure of close to 120. At that price, you would be what? Say 10 times, so 450 would be a very, very key, uh, you know, would be a very easy uh, Achievable target, I think, at these levels, at those levels. All right. Uh, Sanjeev Basin, any disclosures that you'd like to make? Well, as a broking house, we have interests in, uh, we have recommended uh, positions to our client on an ongoing basis. No personal positions or any trading activity for me. All right. Before I let you go, I know you also do, uh, you know, other than that survey you were talking about of the QSRs. And by the way, I also did a survey of the QSRs, not the financials, but by eating in all the QSRs. But, uh, but you also do astrology. And I, I don't want to uh, miss the opportunity of what are the stars saying about the Nifty right now or the markets overall? Well, uh, you know, I would not be so tantamount into what the next three days will do because uh, we all know all uh, bets are on, uh, you know, 20% possibility of a Fed rate hike. What would be more concerning is what's the language going ahead on the pace of bond, uh, the, the, the rise in the bond prices across the board everywhere in the globe. And that is a worrying signal that there is a lot of money which is there, you know, almost 10 trillion dollars, which is going to look for an exit out of the bond market. And definitely that would put pressure on equities, currencies and commodities. So I am of the view that 8400 may be achievable by the next week. And, uh, you know, if that gets broken, then we are left. So 26, 27th is a very key date for me. Mm. And that's where I'm seeing a sharper than expected correction in the offing. All right. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, Sanjeev. Pleasure talking to you.